Hello, welcome to Yates Makes. Today I've got a video for you all about collaboration and looking for and seeing possibilities that you might not even be aware are there. I'm really lucky I've got like a ready-made art collective in all three of my kids love making art so they're always around to lend a hand. They're joining me for, well, sorry two of them because one of them was at work, two of them are joining me for this video today. Okay let's take a look it's as simple as this we printed a load of pictures of coral we've got a load of drawing paper A4 size some colouring pens some brushes and water and some brush pens and we just started drawing um, as we drew we extended we combined pieces of paper we overlapped each other's drawings we completed each other's drawings we switched seats, we drew from an upside down position, we drew from the right way up the side and soon enough you will colonise your whole table and have a beautiful piece of artwork. Now why is it, or why do I feel it's really kind of fruitful and good for you to work in this way? Well it kind of that community support, I guess you've, you know, perhaps a bit bolder than you'd normally be, you've got the comfort of working alongside other people, overlapping drawings, and you know, working in pens generally is a great way to just get straight in there, not worrying about mistakes, because you can't rub anything out. It's gonna improve your confidence. So a few stills of where we got up to there. Um, obviously these water soluble pens are great. You can bleed them out with a brush. You can then work back over in line when they're dry. Okay, so this is where we got to. Now, you have a beautiful outcome, you know, a lovely collaborative drawing to stick on your wall and enjoy. What you've also got is an absolute treasure trove for more possibilities. So, I've cut a small frame from a piece of A4 paper, and what we're gonna do next is just try and find some little compositions within this bigger drawing and what you'll find is if you just take that around the piece everywhere you go you're going to find possibilities okay so what to do from here well one suggestion for you whilst my frame is kind of secured over the section that i'm most interested in or one of the sections i'm interested in um, i've laid some tracing paper over it just framed it off and i'm tracing everything i can see in terms of line pattern outline if you like in that frame this tracing i'm then flipping over securing down again with masking tape onto a piece of watercolor paper and the start of this next process is basically a repeat but slightly more kind of refined and careful of what we've just done together um, using the coloring pens to outline stuff bleed them with the brush pen or a, uh, a brush and water and from this point i started introducing some of my other pens i've got some pro markers out started to work in some texture, some stippling work, um, again with the, the Pro Marker outlining some of this sort of um, leaves coming in from the right hand side. Um, and about this point I'm thinking well I'll, I'll get some paint. I love mixed media so um, I've got my acrylics out, just blocked in some of the background area and I'm totally winging it here and just purely enjoying colour, texture and not thinking about it too much obviously the composition has taken care of itself pretty much um, from that point on you can just kind of let yourself go a bit so I've got my Posca pen out putting some some white dot pattern over the background more pen work and then finally just decided to extend the piece of seaweed on the left down into that bottom left corner just as a sort of compositional point really just to fill up a bit of that gap and there you go, all done.
Okay, there you go. Hope you enjoyed the video and it's opened up some possibilities and ideas for you to go off and try with your friends, your family, your neighbours. Remember, if you enjoyed the video, please comment, like, share, subscribe, all of that. And I'll look forward to seeing you soon for another video. Okay, ta-da, bye-bye.